Hi, BiCat friends. This is Teacher Brady, and I'm going to be reading the story Houses and Homes. This story is by Anne Morris with photographs by Ken Heyman. Uh, Ken Heyman is the illustrator, but in this case, he is also the photographer. He takes photographs. Okay. What does the author do? That's right. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi ho the Dario. The author writes the words. What does the illustrator do? The illustrator draws. The illustrator draws. Hi ho the Dario. The illustrator draws. In this case though, he takes pictures. He's the photographer. The title is Houses and Homes, and it is on the front of the book. Very good. What do we call this part? We call it the back of the book. What is this? The spine of the book. Just like you have a spine, the book also has a spine. And all together, the front, the back, and the spine come together to make the, the cover of the book. Very good. What do we call this part? These are the, the pages of the book. Very good. And that's where our story is. So let's get started reading Houses and Homes. We have some kids that look like they're playing together here. The world is full of houses. Wow, these do look like different kinds of houses, don't they? Big houses. Little houses. Bright houses. White houses. Do you recognize that? What do we call that? You're right. That is the White House. That's where the president lives. Houses that move. What are these called? This is a houseboat. And houses that stay. In a row. Or all alone. Filled with families, just right for one. Build your house with what is handy. Wood. My house is made of wood. These houses are made of wood too. Or stone. They're made of stone. Or straw. Or mud. Or almost anything at all. Weave it. Nail it. Tie it with rope. Build it on stilts. You ever seen a house built on stilts? Oop. Let in the air to keep it cool. Fill in the cracks to keep it warm. Do we need to keep our houses cool in Minnesota 
or do we want to keep them warm in Minnesota? I try to keep my house pretty warm in Minnesota. Fill it with love and make it a home. The end. These are the different places where the houses are. There's houses in France and in India, in England, Hong Kong, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Peru, Kenya, all over the world. Maybe you and your grown up can find some of those places on the map or on a globe. They're all over the world. So this book was called Houses and Homes. It was fun reading it with you. Maybe you and your grown up can talk about what your house looks like. Is your house made of wood? Is your house made of stone? Do you live in a house with other families? Do you live in an apartment? Is your house all alone? Or is it with other houses in a row? What are some things that you can say about your house? All right, have a wonderful afternoon, Bye Cat friends. I'll talk to you later.